it's such a big part of who I am. Um, I really don't have any other, I really don't have any other skills, honestly. My name is Michael Joseph Markham. I am 19 years old currently. My birthday is in March. Um, Nikito Kai for me is the art of self-defense. Um, it's a lot of arts in between. It's boxing, it's kickboxing, jujitsu, Muay Thai, Kabuto, Judo, and um, I believe that's it. But they all flow so well together that my grandmaster, Hanchi Niko, um, he put them all into one art and made his own martial art. So that's what Nikito Kai is for me. So I got into martial arts because um, my dad passed away at a really early age. Um, he was a boxer back in his time era. And um, it was me and my mom for a lot of <clears throat> my life. He was not in the picture a lot. And when he was, um, it was very brief. And so I was picked on a lot as a kid, um, bullied physically, mentally, the whole nine. Um, and that was really rough, but at one point I figured if I want to live in this world, I can't be weak anymore. I don't want to be, it's not right for me. And so I wanted a surefire way to defend not only myself, but the people I care about, because really in this life, who else is going to protect them? You know, it's, you know, this is why I started. This is why I want to keep going because I do want to defend myself and I want to be able to protect the, the people I care about. So wake up at six every morning. I try and do a workout in the morning that usually takes an hour, sometimes an hour and a half. And then as soon as I get out of classes, I do um, another workout a little bit more intense. And then after that workout, I go and train in Nikito Kai. I either box, do jujitsu. Sometimes I teach jujitsu to a couple of friends, um, and it's it's a lot of fun. But it's hard work, and a lot of people think I'm crazy because of it and how much I do it. But honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. So when I was younger, there was a lot of kids that would bully me because of how quiet I was, how to myself I was, you know, I didn't have a lot of friends, uh, just because I was told at a very young age, don't speak unless spoken to, and I still carry that with me today, and that's why it's hard for me to make friends, I, st I still believe, but because of that mentality, I was bullied. When I was bullied, I felt, um, I felt like I wasn't important, I didn't feel like anything mattered, and um, I was bullied to the point where I tried to end my own life two separate occasions, uh, both times I failed due to stuff, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, um, but you know, not being able to do that showed me that I have some, an explicit reason for being here, um, I don't know what that reason is yet, but I'm still trying to find it. And so I went and perfected my own stuff. And I believe that gave me some sort of confidence that I could carry with myself instead of being bullied. And as soon as I felt that confidence growing, less people stopped picking on me. Um, and more people started talking to me, actually. Um, it's, pe I think that people called strength more than most other things. I think it's unsaid strength or unspoken strength that people really resonate with because on some level someone wants to be strong, whether it's a strong heart, a strong will, or physically strong. And I felt I feel like through martial arts I got a little sense of all of that. Um, and I think that people understood that because they stopped picking on me and because of that experience, I never want to let that go. So that strength that I have is something that I want to hold on to till the end of my days. I don't. I want to be some 90-year-old man that's still extremely ripped and no one will mess with because 
if you do you'll just have you'll just be broken down into a little ball of mush yeah i think that martial arts will always give you some sort of self-respect how you use it and the humbleness that you take with it it's it's a two-way street you you have to have self-respect to a certain point to survive because if you have no self-respect within yourself and people don't respect you you're gonna be miserable you're gonna have a very unfortunate life if you don't have any self-respect for yourself um, people are not gonna give it to you you're not gonna feel like you deserve it and I think that martial arts gives you so much self-respect and so much confidence that the whole world should do some sort of martial arts um, and then the idea of being alive feels so much more meaningful because I have a purpose within finding my purpose. Um, I'm literally wearing a necklace right now that says find your worth because I want to find my worth and I think that martial arts is the best path to find that. Martial arts brings through philosophy, it brings different mentalities, it, brings, it paints a better picture of this world that I can look through. So I feel like Everybody, to a certain degree, should have some sort of martial arts. Um, yeah. When I'm in a low point in my life, I have to remember that I still have all my limbs, I still have all my thoughts, all my feelings, and they may suck being combined together, but I gotta keep moving with them. You know? Like, when I'm physically hurt, that doesn't matter to me. Pain's all in the head. And I mean, sometimes it's a headache, but a lot of the times, if you don't think about pain, is it really there? Like, is it really truly there sitting in you? I don't think so. Honestly, mentality should be the forefront of what we're learning. It's something we don't teach in school. It's something that we don't learn until something traumatic happens, honestly. And it's not something that, like, everybody should have the same mentality, but everybody should have a good mentality. You know, a positive one. Even when negative things happen to you, bringing a positive mentality and being able to work through those negative times, it's, it's going to make you much better off than just giving up and having a bad mentality. If you're always doom and gloom, then you're not gonna get anywhere. I know that from personal experience. <laughs> I don't want it. Sometimes you can't shake it, but it's there. You gotta move past it. So, I think mentality and martial arts will get you where you need to be in life.